This video was made right before the pandemic in 2020, and I made it so that my students could understand different types of sounds that could be created with the finger symbols. This is not really meant to teach you how to play them hardcore, but it does give you an up-close view of how the finger symbols can be held on the hand to make the different sounds. I hope you enjoy, and I will be posting more finger symbol videos in the future, so stay tuned. All right. So I know you can't see my head and that's okay. I thought it might be, hey, there I am. I thought it might be really cool to show you up close where the finger symbols should be striking in order to get the sounds that we want. I figured since I'm making videos anyway, it might be nice for you to actually be able to visually see it since I showed you in class, but this way you could have a nice up close view. So. If you look, the finger symbols are round. We know that, right? To get the ring, you want it to hit just the edge. It's very trippy doing this and talking to you. So I'm doing my best here. So the edge, just like this. So when you hit it, it's, it's as if you're putting your hand on something hot and then taking it off. So it's a strike. And of course, the different types of finger symbols, they'll have like different tonalities. So this one, is a really low tone. So in that case, it still has a ring, but it's not as bright as other ones might be. So the ring, again, is happening just on the edges. And when I play, I'm really, I'm actually striking right here. So when I pull, so if I were doing this slow motion, it's like this. And you can see that my thumb isn't really moving that much. So that's the goal. It doesn't, it's not like Pac-Man where this, your thumb is really working and the middle finger not as much. So it's just the little edge of it. Yeah. So the clack, I feel like everybody has the clack down. That That is the Pac-Man one where it's just closed like that. So you see my goal with these is to have all edges hit at the same time. So open, close, and they clack together so that Everything is hitting, no problem. There's really no ring at all. Sometimes we clap. I didn't teach that yet in class, but a clap to show you. It's really fun. And the goal is to try to get the top two and the bottom two to meet. We're not necessarily trying to clack or click or ring necessarily. Sometimes people might tell you they're going for one thing when they clap. But for me, it's more of just like a, like an exciting thing to do. Uh, the click. Okay, so the click is the one that I think a lot of people have trouble with. When you click, to me, it has that sort of brassy, tenny sound. The click is what I find most people get when they're trying to ring and they're not getting it clean. And these are a little bit tricky because they almost, they're such a low tone, they almost have a little bit of a clicky sound. For the click, so you can play it like this, where you hold it, uh, the thumb slightly off, so that's really doable. So if you were looking at my hand from the side, it would look like this. My way of clicking is to like turn the thumb finger symbol so that it's in the meat of my thumb and that it comes down here. I find that when I do that, it being playing both hands, you hear the left hand, this is my left hand, is a little more ringy. The right hand is a little more clacky. I don't want, so I still want a little bit of a ring in it. So it's a mix. You've got ring, click, and clack. Because it's that mix, I don't want to muffle it too much, but I also want a little bit of a ring, but I still want it to sound clicky so so you can see there the only problem i have with this is if you have safety pins or you can see right here it's hitting my elastic this is really cool i can show you so it's hitting the elastic so i'm not getting a good tone so for these to play a click i would probably do it like that so here is one method or but see this one you're not even hearing it so i think for these whether this bag on the elastic is in there um this might not work now if you can shift it off from the middle to here 
that works just fine. So you can see it's actually hitting. So a ring would be the edge, a click is like a little more in. And by setting it in the meaty part of my thumb, that's actually blocking the sound, so it's muffling it. So a couple of people asked, well, can't I just mute it? You, you can. You can also just take your fingers, please excuse the fact that they're covered in hair dye. That's why my fingertips, my, my uh, fingernails are purple. It's not the finger swivels. So you would just set your fingers. So I normally play like this. So I have like nice, pretty hands when I play. So you would set your fingers on the finger symbol. And what if I ring it just like normal, this is a normal ring. It does kind of give it more of a click sound. It's not, it's not really the sound we want for a click, but as you're learning, you could do that to get it to the point where uh, it, it sounds close, but do try to get the, the offset in some sort, whether it's, whether it's like this or like this, or even more like off to the side like that. And the other sound that we haven't gone over that I like that I learned to play when I was a cabaret dancer doing more cabaret dancing. I've heard this called a trill. I've heard it called a jingle. Um, there's different names for it, of course, but this one's really fun. So we have our clap. These are like bonus sounds. We don't really teach these in GC style. We have our ring, our click, and our clap, right? So these are bonuses. So the other one is called a trill or a ringling or a jingle. And what you do for this is super fun. So you hold one hand and the other will fit into it. So if I was to show you how it's being held, I have, it, and it doesn't matter, you can insert your right hand into your left or your left hand into your right. It really doesn't matter. I like to do it like this for some reason. And what you'll do is just wiggle your hands, like you're doing jazz hands, but you'll do it with, uh, with your finger symbols. And it sounds like this. So you can see I'm wiggling more of my right hand, like I'm trembling it, but you can do both. And it's a really neat sound. So that's your, that's, those are your two bonus sounds, the clap and this one. So those are usually used like if you're not dancing and someone's dancing and you have your finger symbols on and they say it's okay and you want to cheer them on like clapping. Or if we're out dancing somewhere and maybe we wanna really get the energy up, that's a good one. And this one, I love it. That one is really great if you're uh, finishing a piece and at the end you do your bow and then ah, like, yay, everyone's clapping and excited for you. So those are a close up view of your finger symbols. And again, like I told you, I'm so sorry, my fingers are purple, but you really, they're supposed to be around here, but I like to put mine up a little bit closer because I have really short, like fingers, but they can go down below that first, first um, knuckle. And so this is your, your uh, review of sounds for your finger symbols. I'll see you all in the next video.